Well, good evening and welcome uh, to this uh, devotion, the third devotion in our series of Advent devotions uh, in this season of Advent. Advent, of course, uh, as I'm sure you know, is the Christian tradition of looking forward to Christ's birth, Christ's birthday, if you like, Christmas, uh, and looking forward to that with expectation and anticipation and uh, and meditation too, perhaps, on exactly what that meant and the implications uh, of his birth. Um, more than just his birth, but of course his birth, his life, his death, and his subsequent resurrection from death. So that's what we're going to look at tonight, under the theme heading of hope, uh, and that for this first week of Advent uh, is our theme hope. And so I have a question for you, a question that Matthew uh, alluded to in his um, uh, sermon on Sunday, if you caught that. And that question was, uh, effectively, in what uh, do you have your hope invested? Or where, if you like, do you invest your hope? So let's bear that in mind as we read God's Word together. Tonight's devotion might not be... Um, feel Christmassy, if you like, there'll be no wise men, there'll be no shepherds or stars in the sky, but looking at the bigger picture, um, the bigger picture of the meaning of Christ's uh, birth, death and subsequent resurrection, uh, the Bible um, narrative that we'd speak of God's uh, perfect plan and his plan for humanity. So let's read together and uh, the book of Psalms, we read in Psalm 42, verse 5. And there the psalmist says this, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. This verse kind of splits in two quite uh, naturally. Uh, to begin with, um, you would notice the psalmist crying out um, and asking himself a question, a rhetorical question, one that perhaps we'll see he answers himself. But to begin with, he's, he's asking, why am I so cast down? Uh, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? He acknowledges to the very his very core that he's troubled, that he is anxious, that he's burdened and and heavy, um, and he, he acknowledges that he's in turmoil with it within him. He's inward looking, introspective, I think we call it, don't we, um, on his troubles. And many of us uh, can concur with that, can relate to that. Um, we don't have to look too far in the present climate to see difficulty and trouble on the bigger stage. We have a new variant COVID and all potentially that that could and might bring, that might cause us to be anxious or cast down. Uh, most of us uh, can attest to difficulties in our uh, in our lives in different ways, uh, or difficulties we may be experiencing now uh, in relationships and um, situa situations and circumstances. They may be financial uh, pressures, they may be health concerns, a whole myriad of things perhaps sometimes uh, cause us, tempt us to despair and to be cast down. In our own situation here some four years ago, as many of you know, I was diagnosed with a type of cancer, an incurable type of cancer, uh, yet a treatable type of cancer, praise God. Uh, and that four years has been quite a roller coaster, quite an up and down of uh, treatments, of highs, of uh, great medical help and outcomes, only for those to last a short period of time and then uh, the hope that perhaps was invested or wrongly invested in those procedures and treatments to be dashed because suddenly they came to an end and there was no uh, continued eff effectiveness and treatments had to be changed. And then the same again, I think, repeat, as I think we see these days, same again and but with different treatment, repeat, uh, ran out of steam and I think we're on a, a, third, a fourth sorry, a different programme at the moment. But where is our hope 
invested. The psalmist comes back to answer his own question in one respect, and he says, Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my hope. Hope in anything else, as the Bible would teach, would ultimately, um, other than God, uh, is not going to be permanent. Uh, hope in anything other than God is not going to be entirely reliable. Hope, uh, ultimately, in anything else other than God is going to disappoint, ultimately. But hope in God is exactly uh, the mirror image of that. It's the opposite uh, in hope uh, to the hope of the world. Hope in God is going to be a, a hope that you can rely upon. Hope in God is never going to disappoint, never going to come up short, and ultimately is a permanent hope through Christ Jesus. And the motivation um, for that from God is his love, as we'll see in a moment. In Hebrews 13, 8, God say, the, the, the writer to the Hebrews says, God is the same yesterday, today and forever. We know that verse well. There's a consistency and a certainty. We know um, that we have, we can look back through difficult times and situations and say God was faithful and my hope when investing in him uh, was realised. We can say that perhaps for today in circumstances and situations we find ourselves in and we can have confidence that our hope for tomorrow, um, for the future, um, is will only be realised in him. God's word um, in Jeremiah, I want to read a couple of, uh, one verse in fact from the book of Jeremiah, who is a prophet and he's writing in a context to God's people, um, to a nation, a nation Israel if you like, but by extension through the life, through the death and the perfect, uh, the perfect life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are God, we have been adopted into God's family. We are God's people. So these words are for us and for now. And these words say this in Jeremiah uh, chapter 31. And verse 3 in particular says this. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again I will build you and you shall be built. As I say the specific context here is uh, God speaking through the prophet Jeremiah to his people, his, his nation people, Israel. But these words are for us. This is a God who has loved us with an everlasting love and does love us with an everlasting love. And in that he has continued his faithfulness to us and he will continue that faithfulness to us. And once more, ultimately, he will build us again. He will restore us. These words speak of restoration uh, uh, through reconciliation. He will restore us spiritually, um, emotionally and physically. And one day when Christ returns finally to take his people to be with him, um, that building, that restoration will be complete in Christ Jesus. So the themes there in these in these words from Jeremiah are themes of God's love and passion, his compassion and his faithfulness to his people. And right there, there is a declaration of faithfulness for us. So I hope you'll be encouraged tonight when you consider these things. God is good all the time for all his promises. We poised a question at the beginning, where is your hope invested? Perhaps uh, you know you've invested money in uh, perhaps share, buying shares at one time. In that transaction, you would expect a return from those shares, a financial return. If we invest, if we continue to invest 
our hope in the living God and of the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, the dividend that will be payable from that will be a dividend of peace, peace now in and through difficult circumstances and ultimately everlasting peace when Christ comes to take us to be with him. So I wanted to leave that for you. If you've been watching this tonight and you don't know Christ as your Saviour and your Lord, and if your hope isn't, uh, has never been invested in him, then do make contact with us somehow or another through the, uh, uh, the contact procedure through uh, uh, YouTube, through the comments. Reach out. Um, do come and, and, uh, each night at 7 o'clock over these next days between now and Christmas, weeknights, Monday to Friday on the YouTube channel, 7 o'clock for 10 or a few more minutes as it's ticking by now and join us for devotions. Also, um, you're a, we would love to invite you to a banquet, a banquet that the church is putting on, a Christmas banquet uh, on the night of the 16th of December. Uh, around 7 o'clock, we'll confirm you with the details. Come in, eat with us and join us and hear.